Hi guys, welcome to the channel. So in today's blog, we are going to discuss about DNS. So in this video, we will get to know what is DNS, what are the DNS resolvers, what are the DNS queries, DNS lookups, and the most important, how does DNS works? So let's first get to know about DNS. So as we know, DNS means domain name system. So we can say also that DNS is a kind of phone book of the internet that store the name instead of IP address that is easy to remember. Also the basic fundamental of DNS is to resolve hostname to IP and IP to hostname. As we know each device on internet has unique IP address. You can say a combination of number. So it's easy to remember name instead of number. That's a human nature. Also, the advanced DNS has a more help, more solution. Like if you talk about GSLB, GSLB is the fast routing between global distributed data center. DNS also provide geographical routing, data center and cloud migration and internet traffic management and more. So let's first discuss about DNS resolvers. So there are four types of DNS resolvers. The first one is DNS recursive server. This, this DNS recursive server is designed to receive queries from the client through applications such as web browser, like a web browser. So whatever we access a URL on the web browser, it sends a request to the DNS server and that server will called as DNS recursive server. The next one is root name server. This name server, you can, we can say it is a reference server that provide the specific location of the URL and basically it provides the information of TLD, the top level domain server. Third one is top level domain server. If you talk in simple words, a TLD is everything that falls after the dot. Means you can see .com, .in, .org. So those are basically the top level domain server. Next one is authoritative DNS server. Authoritative DNS server is the actual server. This is the server who holds the information about the URL, who is responsible for the URL which you have access and that also maintain the records for the web server. Next, we are going to discuss about how does DNS works. Now let's discuss about how does DNS works. So let's first create a small diagram. So this is the user and this user is trying to access a URL that is example.com. Now this user, this client machine will ask to the ask to a DNS server about this URL and that is our recursive DNS server. If this recursive DNS server has the information about the URL in its cache, it will reply back to the client. That is a simple case. Let's say if this recursive DNS server does not have the information in its local cache. So what it will do, it will ask to a server about the information that is root server. You can also say root DNS. So root DNS will then reply back to the recursive DNS server about the TLD. It will inform to the recursive DNS server about TLD means the top level domain. There are 13 types of top level domain. Now this recursive DNS server will send a query to a server that is now our TLD server, top level server. 
okay so now this tld server will respond back to the recursive server and while responding it will send the information of ip mean it will respond with ip now this recursive dns server have the information of ip address this recursive dns server will next send a query to a server that will be the actual server so we can say this one is name server now this recursive dns server will send a query to the name server and this name server so let's first write this recursive server send query to the query to name server now this name server will reply back to client sorry a recursive dns server so this name server will reply back to the client by confirming the ip address this will reply back to recursive with ip okay now this recursive dns server have the information of the url for which the client has raised the request so now this recursive dns server will reply back to the client machine and at the end now this client machine will send a direct request to the name server that is our example dot com so now we get to know after getting the ip address of the desired website now the url now the user will directly connect to the website so this is how this is how the dns works how the dns works